Man, this is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting this to actually come out, but here we are. So guys, a little bit ago, I was talking to you about the possibility of a dual boot coming to the iPhone. So where you'll be able to run two versions of iOS simultaneously. So you can have iOS 6 on your device at the same time. How amazing is that? You guys can go back in time, take a look at everything that made iOS 6 so great. You can use cover art again and explore the old iOS. It was so fast, so responsive, and there are a lot of jailbreak tweaks that you can run on it that don't work on the new version. So there's so many possibilities. And even if you guys aren't gonna be doing this, just watching it in progress, watching it work is actually very cool, how easy it is. So not everybody can go out and just install this on their iPhone. If you have a brand new iPhone 7, obviously it won't work for you. It's very limited to a certain amount of devices. So you have to have a 32-bit device, including the iPhone 5, 5C, the iPhone 4, and the iPad 2, 3, and 4. Now you have to be jailbroken on that device on iOS 9 or iOS 8. So that means if you are jailbroken, whichever firmware you are on, you're clear to do this as long as you have one of those devices. Now the iPhone 4S and iPod Touch 5th generation, they're not just there yet, but support for them may come in the future. Now I will be showing you how to install this and how this works. It's very cool. I would recommend watching it just, just to see it happen. We've never been able to do something this cool before, so it's uh, very, very nice. Now I have an iOS 9 device that I did go ahead and jailbreak to prepare for this. It's a very simple install. You don't need any SHSH blob saved. If anyone even remembers what those are, you don't need them. This is very simple. So we're gonna go ahead and add a source inside of your jailbroken iPhone 5, 5C, or iPhone 4, and the iPads. You can do it on those as well. So we're gonna go to edit, add. So it's a very simple source. Just go ahead and add a cool booter dot com inside of your repos in Cydia and it will add the source so I couldn't actually believe how simple this was I mean incredibly simple and there's a couple ifs and buts that you guys need to know about that I will leave a link down below to basically the guys Twitter that's working on this uh, so just a couple things for you guys to note you will need at least eight gigabytes of space before installing this now the newer the device the more space you need. So if you have an iPhone 4, you only need about four and a half gigabytes. But for the eight gigabyte devices, also four and a half gigabytes. So I do have plenty of room on my device. If you don't have enough, just use iCleaner, clear out some room, delete some stuff. It's well worth it because we're gonna be partitioning a piece of our storage for that firmware. Just like installing Bootcamp on your Mac, you need to partition a certain amount for Windows to, uh, to run on. So inside of the source, let's jump in here all packages and there it is cool booter beta so this is in beta 3 it was just updated yesterday which is nice and this is still a beta so of course install with caution but overall pretty positive response with everybody all right so we are finishing up the install here so cool the possibility that you get to run iOS 6 again now I paid a ridiculous amount of money for this iPhone right here on iOS 6.0.1 and I thought I got a pretty good find but now anybody can install this man that sucks, but at least this one's completely stuck. All right, so return to Cydia, and let's jump into Cool Booter right here. So it's a separate application, which is nice. So go ahead and click on install, and this is the coolest part, guys. You can actually choose which firmware you want to be on. So literally any iOS 6 firmware here. So from 6.0 to 6.1.4. Now, a lot of people are having difficulties installing 6.1.4 at the moment. This will be addressed in a future beta, so Literally 6.1.3 and below is game at the moment. You can install that if you want. It's working for some people. It's just, I don't know, give it a try. In worst case, uh, you'll redo it. But basically, I want to go all the way back to 6.0. All right, so with 6.0 selected, select I am ready. Would you like to jailbreak the other OS? So you can have a completely stock version of that OS, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Why not? So verbose boot to have all the text on the display when you're booting it up. It's a very cool look. I'm gonna say yes. So it's actually downloading the firmware from Apple for this to work, which is the cool part and why you need so much storage because it's gonna be taking all of that up. So this will take a little while, guys. As soon as it's done, I'll be right back, but I, I'm really excited for this. So I bought this guy on 9.0 just to have, I actually have a huge collection of iPhones on a whole bunch of firmwares because really you never know when you're gonna need it. And this is why right here. And pay no mind to this little error right here. 
you might get it all good. All right, so it has succeeded. But before we can click boot, there are several things we needed to do. So first off, unplug any cables with your phone. This applies to everyone. This was a warning from the guy that actually made this. So unplug any cables and just restart the phone. All right, device rebooted. I am on my way to my iOS 6 journey. So here we go. So make sure to back up your iDevice. That is very important. If you have a lot of data on here, I have nothing on here, so I don't care. Okay, and the process does begin. So we should see the verbose boot with all the text. Don't freak out if you did select that and uh, lock your device. So there we go. And now the process will begin. Man, it has been a while since I've last seen this. This is like all the way back to iPhone 4 days. So that is really, really cool. I think the fact that we even get a jailbreak nowadays is such a miracle with iOS 10. Man, I'm gonna miss these days, but here we go. In a minute here, once this boots, I'll be right back. And man, it's good to see this loading screen. Wow. All right, and here's this activation screen. So look at that, man, it has been a while. So this is essentially a brand new device on iOS 6 right now. So you're gonna have to set it up just like any other device. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so wrapping this up right here. I never thought I'd actually go through the setup menu again. How cool is that? All right, so begin using the iPhone and carrier settings update. You can do that one, but don't do the software update. Uh, what will it try to install even if I do it? So this is so funny. You're like you're running an iPhone with two personalities right now. I highly doubt you'll be able to run this. Oh, okay. So this is part of the jailbreak. It pretty much doesn't allow you to install software updates anymore if you do run that. But about I'm on iOS 6.0. So these are just one firmware apart right here. How neat is that? Man, that is seriously awesome. So it's everything that iOS 6 is. It's not watered down in any ways. This is the actual firmware running on your device. And I'm just gonna turn the brightness up a little bit, but I can already tell it's way more responsive exactly as iOS should be. Plus you can jailbreak it if you want. So if you wanna remove this, of course you guys can, but it's actually looking at the about page. How much storage do I have, I wonder? So this actually allocates about 16 gigs to this. I guess it depends on how much storage you have on your phone. But man, there it is, guys. Wow, that is seriously so cool right there. iOS 6 running on a device with iOS 9. So what if you want to go back to the regular version iOS 9? It's as simple as rebooting your device. So just hold the power button and you'll restart back to it. But there it is, the fully working version. Man, that is awesome. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Just wanted to share this with you. I talked about it, but now seeing it in real life is a different story. Major props to the guy that made this work. I'll leave his Twitter down below. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.